Rick here, and welcome to the Star Trek Bestiary. This series looks into the aliens of Trek that are considered more animalistic, as well as frequently looking into whatever else I, I find. I don't know, I still can't narrow this down. Much like the problem with my EPS power flow regulators. Wait a minute. I suspect a vermin issue, which brings me riding in on my segue to the subject of this bestiary, the Cardassian Vole. Oh my god, what was that intro? Not every fantastical creature of Trek is grand in scale or amazing in some fashion. Some are just that age-old problem of being a pest. Cardassian voles are mammals that are, as the name suggests, native to Cardassia Prime. These rodents are around a foot long, not including the tails, and have six clawed legs. They have scraggly body hair, mostly on the tops of their forms and down the back of their head, back and tail. The fact they are from Cardassia is reflected in their biology in a funny way, although I doubt a Cardassian would agree. If you look closely enough to their facial features, you can see that they possess the same spoon-shaped crest and lower jaw ridges that feature on Cardassians. The fact that these features are present in two species of the same planet suggests that there is an evolutionary factor at play here. They also have a number of horn-like spines that run down their back but cease on reaching the tail, which itself is long and often knobbly. The Cardassian voles tend to make their way into small dark places near power cables and energy sources as they are drawn to the electromagnetic fields produced by most machinery and technology. They prefer to live in small dark spaces, and this combined with their tendency to seek out power sources often leads to them to establish nests in the workings of habitats, especially those that are technologically active all the time, like ships, power stations and space stations. They are scavengers by nature and are drawn to food sources, again bringing them into inhabited areas often. It doesn't seem that domesticated varieties were common, but the voles were often the subject of vole fights, which the Federation considered rightly immoral. The creatures, however, were generally flighty but vicious when cornered. There are several reasons that they are regarded as pests. First off, they tend to chew on any power supplies and systems that they find, ultimately breaking the system or shocking themselves. Either way, that makes them a hazard. Secondly, they scavenge foodstuffs and live in seldom controlled areas of the structure, causing a mess which can be unhygienic, and they breed rapidly, establishing secondary and tertiary nests in areas around the main one to accommodate their expanding numbers. They frequently stowed away on starships, probably drawn by cargoes of food stores and the ambient power of such a vessel, and therefore could be spread throughout the systems becoming a problem not just on Cardassia, but other worlds like Bajor and even beyond. These Cardassian voles were encountered by Starfleet at least during the 2200s, and probably even before. Once they establish a colony in an area, like a space station, it can be incredibly hard to be rid of them. If even a couple survive attempted extermination, they will repopulate when their next breeding cycle comes about. DS9, for example, had continual issues with them, even when they were seemingly dealt with. I assume they're omnivores due to their scavenger's nature, and they do possess sharp teeth. There is also a comic that features them eating wheat-like substances and a reference to them consuming Semhal stew, which itself is a stew made from vegetables. On top of this, they once infested Quark's bar, which was probably because of the access to food stores. There are no in-canon mentions of the Cardassian vole being edible, but presumably it is, and I saw a reference to their bellies being a sellable commodity, but that could be for anything, and with their unhygienic scurrying and appearance I can't say I'd relish the idea. These small nuisances may have originated on Cardassia, but they spread outwards from there at an alarming rate, considering their common categorization as pests. Their spread is probably not on purpose, although it would be yet another act of sabotage from the Cardassians if they let some loose before giving up Terak Nor to the Bajorans. We do see Cardassian voles being used as subjects of experimentation, so I do wonder if there is a research aspect to them, one that the Federation would not condone, but perhaps they are immorally used as test subjects, which might also explain why they end up spreading. 
also maybe why they have six legs. There's actually not that much more on them, and I've already made quite a substantial amount of speculation from observations on how they are treated in the shows, so there's not much left to say except that they're basically large space rats. The Federation may regard most life as a sacred thing, but in cases of extreme vole infestation it seems even the uptight Starfleet switches its phases from stun to kill. Understandable, really, as a major vole infestation can cause incredible havoc to power systems, and on an enclosed structure like an interstellar vehicle, such an issue can quickly escalate, just like the vole's numbers. Thanks for watching this video on this critter, and I'll leave you with this one question to ponder. Why are their head spoons similar to Cardassians? What is the evolutionary link here? Thanks again, and I'll see you next time for another lore, gaming, or general sci-fi video. I've been Rick. Goodbye.